I'm here to tell you all about the fantastic triple cases we built at Scott Dixon. Now, at Scott Dixon, a company has been run by the same man for many, many years, a guy called John Dixon. And he started building cases w way back in 1975, when I were only four years old, believe it or not. Um, he started building cases, like a lot of people did, uh, using wood usual traditional met methods and uh, lining them with the fur. Uh, but later on in the 70s, he started using metal. He's been an engineer pretty much since he left school and uh, decided to start making cases using metal. Pretty much oblong cases like a lot of places do, rectangular, and using what they call like the three mil aluminium, which very, very strong, but quite heavy. In the 90s, he developed a way of making cases that were just as strong as that three mil aluminium, but by only using a two mil aluminium. And uh, he developed one of the first coffin type cases. In fact, this here is an example of one of the very first cases he made. And you can see the similarities to a coffin there. And what it occurred to him was that he could take that and make it wider and then having a facing on the front as the entrance you could actually put two maybe three guitars in there and carry them all around and this led him in 1996 to developing the very first triple guitar cases all completely made from aircraft grade aluminium it's very light it's very strong it's been used by a number of massively famous bands all around the world Here's an example of uh, one of the guitar cases. This is finished in a powder coating uh, of British Racing Green. And here's a bass guitar in the traditional aluminium finish. They all work on the same principle. You have uh, little grabs in the bottom for the bases of the guitar, neck holders here, and then bungee cords, which you can put around to keep them secure. They're all come with wheels, so you can move them all about very, very easily. Ideal for running in and out of airports, etc. They also have the handle on the front, so that when the case lid is on and the four catches are engaged, you can actually pick it up with that. It makes it easy then for going upstairs, putting in the back of trucks, etc. And each one has a combination lock on the top, so you can set your own combination up. Here's a case finished in British Racing Green. There's the neck block holders. They are fully adjustable to fit whatever guitar or bass you put in there. These are the bungee cords which wrap around the neck. This Allen key is supplied with all the cases. Well, not that particular Allen key, but you will get an Allen key with it. This means you can adjust the net block holders and the width of the floor dividers. What we always would suggest is that moving one of these to the side of the case and the same on the other side and then to slot the guitars in between. This helps keep the guitars apart from one another. It stops them scratching or rubbing against each other and it also means they are not against the side of the case. Because even though these cases are incredibly tough, we've seen cases get set on fire, crushed by forklift trucks, and even run over. By the way, in all those examples, the guitars were perfectly fine. But just to be on the safe side, it keeps your guitars away from the side of the case and gives them a bit of breathing room. Each case has its own serial number that is, of course, unique to the case and customer. And that means should there ever be a problem with theft, you can always prove ownership of your case. All the cases are made from aircraft grade aluminium. It's one of the strongest and lightest forms of aluminium available today. Uh, every case is 100% recyclable. Uh, everything from the aluminium to the corners, the catches, the foam interiors, all of it is recyclable but we do hope that you're going to answer it for a long long time because these cases will go on and on and on in the words of that famous song um 
Sometimes you may get the wheels need replacing after a lot of touring, we can supply the wheels. Sometimes you might want to catch if one's got broken, but we can supply those too. So they are uh, extremely long lived, very rugged, handy for any kind of musician who does a lot of touring. We often get asked, what are headstock blocks? What are they for? Well, you can see here inside this guitar vault that we built to hold all these guitars. And now, even though they're a bit higgledy piggledy in this example, what the headstock blocks allow you to do, you can see here, this block butts up against the head of the guitar and keeps it in place. It means shorter guitars can share the same case as much taller ones or bases, and they can be all be transported safely without moving up and down. We can do this with a triple bass case, so you could use it to transport a bass and two standard guitars as well with headstock blocks in place, or any variation of. One other feature we offer for all our cases, not just vaults, is this. LED lighting. Makes it a bit easier on a dark stage to see all your equipment. So hopefully that gives you an idea on the kind of things we can supply for touring guitarists and bassists. Obviously these are the only uh, instruments we provide protection for. We've made cases for every kind of instrument you can think of really. Uh, and we can build these to any size or shape that you need. So if you want to drop us an email or get in touch, we can, we can certainly work something out for you. In the past, our uh, other clients have included the Ministry of Defence, the National Health Service, the Police Force, all the major communications companies, and um, you know even brewery companies uh, who needed particular uh, items building this kind of material uh, have contacted us to uh, provide solutions to their problems. So we've got a good pedigree, been going quite a few years. Um, if you want to uh, drop us a line, let us know what you need. We'll do our best to help you. Cheers.